So yeah, great training tool. I think you guys are pretty satisfied with it during your training exercises mm -hmm. here. And if you have any more additional questions, please contact Doug or I'm uh, suggesting and I'll push them on. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, anything else? Oh no, man. Appreciate yeah, that was great. Right. There you go. Thank you very much. Thanks, Doug. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. I guess it's not a problem. I will yeah. see you Monday. Absolutely. You've got everything you need. You've got the manual. Yes, sir. Two packs. All right. All right. Let's get back to training. Appreciate it. Going live. Sit here until I have a need to want to go in. Does that make sense, to everybody? Okay. Let's talk about crosses and button hooks real quick. So the cross, Justin, you want to help me out? Yep. So the cross is going to look pretty much like this. I'm going to line up so that my gun stayed on the thread. I have to come this way. My partner is going to give me that nudge or that pinch. And I have to make room for him. If I stop right here, feel how he tripped because I stopped. If I stop right here, I just cause a traffic accident in the room clearing. If you cause a traffic accident, whoever else is in here gets to shoot two birds with one stone. Does that make sense? So, me crossing into this room, it's one step, two step, same direction of travel and I'm just walking and you should be able to do this without this gun that's how complicated this is I'm not even looking at the freaking door and I can walk right through and right back out crossing is the easiest thing that we can do is why we suggest pying and crossing in the rooms you'll have to do this one for me button hook so the hardest thing to do is the button hook. And even harder does it come when we put a rifle in it. You're chiming again. <laughs> so he's already got that back off distance from the wall, from the door frame. He's going to set himself up for that button hook. Go ahead. Notice how as he's coming in, He's looking at his threat directly in front of him. I'm looking at my threat right here. I see that next corner. And I'm just doing this. And as I'm turning and I'm looking, my gun is pointing in the direction that I'm about to go. I pivot with my feet and I step in. And then we've now turned the button hook into a cross. The way it used to look is like this. That's the way we used to get taught. And it's sloppy, it's not, it does not have a good economy of motion, and it doesn't line your body armor up, your sights up, or your gun up with the thread every time. And with a rifle, it's even worse if you do that, because you do this. We'll, we'll show you with the rifle here later. Um, but let's, let's worry about this. So, we've got the cross, very simple. Cross into the room, that button hook, Whichever side of the door frame you're on, that inside foot is the first step. So we call it a little step, a big step, pivot, step. That's the, that's the ditty. Here you go. So 
Little step. Big step. I'm now committed. I'm in the fatal funnel. I'm either ducking out and getting out of there, or I'm committing and I'm getting in. So, little step, big step, pivot, stepping in. When I step in, I'm stepping forward, not this. I'm stepping forward and I am pushing myself with this back foot forward. Reason why is your body, your brain is going to scream to you, don't do this. Don't go into this room. You sometimes have to force yourself into that room. And that's what that step is for. All right, any questions on this so far? All right, give me one line. Correct that dance. Your center of gravity. I mean, over too much. Go back off. So, consider that to be Come through. The first threat that you miss is that corner that you cannot see, but you can see everything else. If nothing else is hurt you, stop pointing your gun there. Point your gun there. That's the next threat. So just to reiterate on that, a lot of people are going to go through, I guess, straight. Then, yeah, yeah, so. Bring that weapon in if you have a hand. Yeah. Give yeah. yourself room to work through the door. You get a little bit more? Yeah, well, now get a little bit more. I'm going to go over one more time. Yeah, sometimes people yeah, lost a little bit of side back here. A little bit of side gun. So we, we've already seen everything here. And once you've got here, when you pull in, you just put the gun on the opposite side. So stay right there. Right that's where it's starting to fight. And I've already said that. I can move on back. Yeah. Because I was going to turn in to make sure. No. No, we want to get that first. All right, go ahead. Tell the deck from here. There you go. Clear the threshold. So once you're, once you're. I was going to do it perfectly for us. <laughs> Good. So to show you where it's going before I enter the door, as I cross, so as soon as I cross the threshold, gun is being pointed back out at the same time I'm stepping in. So it's one fluid motion. The thing I don't want you to do is I don't want you to get used to, here's a corner, there's nothing there, and I've already taken one, two, three, four, that's definitely a wall. And there's nothing there, and now I turn around. What Justin was saying earlier is the moment I cross this thing, and there's nothing there, I cross out, I'm turning around. And that turn is very specific and very unique, and it's very athletic. That turn is just like this pivoting motion. I would have turned the way my body and my body mechanics work in my favor. I'm right-handed. My gun is in my right hand. This left hand's pulled already. So what already looks like the direction of travel for me to turn? Left, right? So I just set my feet up for the pivot. Soon as I come in, I'm back out. If I come in from the opposite side, it's the same thing. I make that entry and I'm back out. It's pulling that gun in and punching that gun back out. It's not this. It's not this, it's not Charlie's Angels. It's pull that gun in, push that gun back out.
back off a little bit. Back off the wall. There you go. Guys, when you come through this door, when you come through the threshold, break that gun down and punch it back out. Go ahead, Alex. Stand up, Alex. Keep that gun pointed forward, Alex. I love you, Alex. Gun out. That's mad, Alex. I don't even have one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's number, number five order. All right, straight up and walk. Now, just walk. Nothing, nothing weird. Just walk. And as we're walking, we're turning. Back off a little bit. Slow down. Take a breath. Now, you're just going to cross in and turn around. Get out of this doorway. Kneeling. And watch your thumb. You're going to be coming on the thumb. <laughs> yep. Graceful. Use all that available space, please. Break it down before you, re before you go in. Come back out. Come back out. You're Coming into the doorway, stopping and turning. Get out of the doorway. Take at least one step away from the doorway and then you turn around. Before you come in, break that gun down, push it back out. Go ahead, start from right there. Hey Ty, let me ask you something. Ty, as we're doing the pie, when and why did we ever stop? I mean, I mean, I've already seen 50% of the room, I guess, at this point. And if I hear something that requires me to get in there, or if I have a threat that's out here, I need to get in. And also, I don't see someone. I see someone there. So, just training point. Ty, so I'm just picking his brain. One reason why you would not complete the pie is if one thing, there's a threat outside and you just need to get in. Two, if you see something, hear something that makes you need to get in and immediately respond. Or if you, upon the pie, see someone right here. If I see someone right here, do I keep needing to do this? Not going to lose them. So now I have full reason for why I would penetrate. If need be. If I understand that? Does everyone go through this twice? No? Straight. Ah. straight. My head's right. You ain't broken. But ducking. I won't stop a bullet. That was better. Here, and no grass right here in this area, because your feet should be stopping here, here, pivoting, and making entry. Now, everyone's going to take a different step, so take that with a grain of salt. But this is where I want you to be. I want you to think if you are doing this and you're hitting this door frame every time, you're too close to the door, come out in the circle a little bit. 
Nothing says you can't do the entire button hook on the outside of the door and then cross straight into the room. You want me to demonstrate that? Yes. Okay. All I'm doing is just turning myself around the quickest, most efficient way possible. Okay? All right. See how you drug your feet? So I want you to put your left foot right here. Facing me. I'm facing me. Put your left foot right here. Right on mine. Put your right foot right here. Okay. Now I want you to pivot with your hips and face the opposite direction. And now step in with your right foot right to the door. Of course you're a little far back. So you see that it sets you straight up to just walk right through the door. Now it's not a sideways step, it's a step forward. So you need to make a little bit more of a step out into this doorway. Once you get into here, you're committed into here. You're right in the fatal funnel, there you go. There. Now step in. Step in with that right foot. Here's why you don't want to step in with the opposite foot coming into this door. If I come into this door and I step in with this foot, I'm automatically crossing myself. Is this a stable fighting position? Is my body armor exposed to the threat? Is my gun on the side? Sure. But this is not good and conducive to ducking out if need be, I'm all jumbled up. It's not a good economy of motion. So once you set yourself up from right here, just step forward. That's it. Because if this guy's right here and you end up having a fight kill him for whatever reason, you're fighting somebody off balance. Is this how I want to fight somebody? Or is this how I want to fight somebody? Is this how I want to shoot? Or do I go to the range and I train to shoot like this? Right, so we want body armor forward, good proper fighting position, shooting position. One more time. One more time. Hey, look, once you make that step here, step here, give yourself that full pivot and then penetrate into the ground. Not sideways, forward. See how the first thing you did was you up here? Yeah. All this stuff got right there. So that's what I'm saying. Once you make this entry, I'm I'm coming right off this door jam. Right here. My gun is pointed right here off this door jam. And the moment I enter, I can start shooting here. Not here, not here. I can already start to see and engage right here. And that's first step, gun up, eyes up. Hey, you ever done a button hook like this? Not like that. It's been like in the door frame. Do your standard button hook. You know, I don't even know now that I'm thinking about it. They used to teach that it's a... <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to do what you Think about that. I mean, when you go to button hook, look at how exposed you become here. Because I was taught the same thing. Yeah. And then, so I just do it all here now. You see why you want that right foot though, right? Yeah, I do. No, I want to get over to the one kind of where I can do Like it is. Yeah. Those are pretty good. Yeah.
do that every time and don't ever do anything else. <laughs> See how you came back to here? You lost sight that you just gained. Yeah. So, what you want to do. Yeah, were you checking here first? Is that what you were checking? Yeah. Like, yeah, I was, yeah, I was a like, pretty skinny like guy. a little robot. Yeah. <laughs> look, look. I need to gain room from all this. So, I'm going to come all the way to back here. Yeah. And I'm going to start working myself up. Oh, that's, yeah. Yeah, you caught yourself, that's good. 
and back, right? Yep. So, yep. And then, yeah, you're good. Yep. And use use what's available. I'm just gonna keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so guns always up. Am I counting that? Yeah. Okay, my bad. Yeah. Cut the rest of it. You're coming off that second door. Same height. 
So look, look where your gun is pointing, right? Right. If I'm wearing armor, you are shooting like literally the only spot I want you to shoot me in the armor is in the dead center. Okay. So you see what you're doing as you're bringing down, you're changing your natural point. Now stand up straight and point your gun at me. Where are you aiming now? Like point your gun straight. Okay. Okay. Where are you aiming? The chest. Right, you're aiming right in here. So the first shot, even if it clips the top of that, where's the second shot going? There's recoil, it's going up. You see what I'm saying? But if you- All right, keep going. Standing up straight. You can do that, Adam. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it. There you go. Watching all doors at the same time, you get that corner. Work this door out. We're not going this way. <laughs> Sorry. Right here. You can just take them up like that. That way you don't have to get into some awkward angle. Add about six inches. Four to six inches. Yeah. Mm.
Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Yes, ma'am. Put your hands up. Yes, back, up. Back, up. Yes, ma'am. back up. Back up. Yes, ma'am. Back up. Yes, ma'am. Turn around. Back yes, up. Back up. Are you here alone? Back up. Are you here alone? Back up. What you doing? Back up. What are you doing? What's your name? I'm talking. Back up. What are you doing? Put your hands up. Back up. You get wrong? Back up. Back up. What's the name of my phone? Back up. Now. Back up or I'll shoot. Right. Right. Where are you in my house? Back up. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Pull your shirt up. Pull your shirt up. Pull your shirt up. Back up. Pull your shirt up. No, I'm not listening. Pull your shirt up. I can't either. Pull your shirt up. Get out of my house. 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 Pull your shirt up. Now. Now. Index, index, index. Holster. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Drop it. Drop it. Drop the knife. Now. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. And, uh, and roll. Hey, what you doing there? Put your hands up! 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 Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Hands where I can see them. Hands where I can see them. Back up. Turn towards the wall. Turn towards the wall. Turn towards the wall. Don't look at me. Turn around. Look, man. Turn around. Turn towards the wall. Are you Bobby? Turn around. Turn towards the wall right now. Are you Bobby? Don't look at me. Turn towards the wall. All right. Turn towards the wall now. Turn towards the wall now. I'm taking that you're not Bobby. Turn towards the wall, put your hands against the wall. Okay. Turn towards the wall, put your hands against the wall. All right. What are you doing, man? Turn towards the wall, don't look at me. Hey, is this Bobby's house? Hand to hands against the wall. Dude, I'm going to record Hands against you. the wall. Both hands against the wall now. Dude, I'm recording you. because Hands no, against I'm the wall now. I'm recording you. Hands against the wall. I'm recording Turn you. around. I'm going to record you. Spread your legs. This is about as best as you get. Spread I'm your legs now. You. No. Like, I don't know what your deal is. I'm here, at, I'm, I'm guessing this is Bobby Get down on your knees. I have to think it's not. Get down on your knees now. Dude, 
Chill out. Like, call the cops or something. I'm Get down really on your knees. Up. Both both knees on the ground. Both hands against the wall. Dude, Put the I'm phone not, against the wall. Yeah, I'm filming Put you. the phone against the wall. I'm filming you. Dude, are you going to shoot? Black line. Do it. Black line. What do I do here? So, we're outside of your dwelling, right? Okay. Yeah. You got a random person. Have you identified him? He's he's already down. Okay. Who are you? Why are you here? Who are you? Why are you here? Dude, look. I'm looking for Bobby. They told me this was the address. I I mean, this doesn't look like Bobby's truck, but why are you armed at my house? Uh don't touch the gun, hands against the wall now. I'm not armed. What are those magazines doing there? Oh, I just came back. Hands from, against the I, wall. I just came back from the rain. Like, I don't have a gun, bro. Like, look. With loaded look, mags? Look. Yeah, I just came back from the Hands against the wall now. Check it out, look. Hands look. against the wall. All right. On the wall. All right, look. Do I frisk him? No. So, you got a guy who is at a made a mistake and he's at the wrong house. Would you put him down on his knees without asking? Would you try to frisk him? Or just say, hey, man, you're at the wrong address. You need to get your stuff. You need to leave. So, look, man. I'm sorry. I guess I'm at the wrong place. Like, this is the address I thought I was. You're at the wrong place. house. You need to get out of here right now. All right. Get your stuff and go. All right. Cool. Like, I'm gonna stand up super slow. Stand dude. up. Okay. Hands against the wall. Yeah. You got it. You got it. Like, all right. I'd like to get my backpack. Get your bag and go. All right. Cool, man. I, hey, I'm super sorry. Like, I'm super sorry. Okay. Like. I'm out of here, dude. I'm sorry. Index. This one? Most people buy a bigger one. Like, where my glasses? Hey, man. Put your hands up, please. Put your hands up. Nope. Sir, drop that now. Drop it. Drop it on the ground now. Drop it now. Drop the... Drop the hammer now! Do you need any more? No, stop! Stop what you're doing! Do not move anymore! Drop your hands! Drop the hammer! Drop the hammer! Move to your left! No! Stop! Move over here to this wall! Yes! Keep your hands up! Keep your hands up! Put your hands on the wall! Put your hands on the wall! That one, stop right there! Stop moving! Stop moving! Are you going to listen to what I say? I think so. Okay. Keep your right hand on the wall. Okay. Take your left hand and reach to the back of your shirt at the collar. At the collar. At the collar. Pull it up. Pull it up higher. Higher. Keep your right hand up. Spin around for me. Slowly. Keep slow. Stop. Get down okay. on the ground now. Get down on the ground. Okay. Get down on the ground. Okay. Get down on the ground. Okay. Lay down. Okay. Hands on the ground. Okay. Move over here, Joe. Move over here. Move over here. All the way to me. All the way to me. All the way to me. Don't move. Do not move. Hold him. Do not move. You hear me? Do not move. Move up here, Joni. Move up here. And index. What's the need for training? We train because we care about others. We agree to stand, fight, and die for those we love. Become an asset to your community, not a liability. Visit VindictiveSolutions.com. Come get some training. Acta non verba.
deeds, not words. Shoot Move Communicate courses are $600 a person. Location is Teleco Plains, Tennessee at ReadyMade Resources. We provide the training equipment for you, but you will need gloves. There is no live fire at our training courses. We use airsoft and sim munitions. Camping is allowed on site. There are inexpensive cabins and hotels in the area for renting. You can bring and train in your own equipment. You can also visit the ReadyMade Resources store and go shopping for any of your tactical and preparedness needs. We do more than just train. We fellowship together and minister to those who need it, discuss current and future events, we pray together, we make new friendships and network, show new gear that we are testing, evaluate gear that the students are using, give a demonstration on night vision and thermal equipment that we use, discuss methods and concepts of prepping and training, and help students set up their tactical gear and how to use it. Our goal, to give you the skills to survive deadly encounters, promote good leadership skills, provide instructions on different methods of training and techniques, how to use various tactical equipment and medical equipment, provide verbal communication skills, while under duress, provide team building and problem solving skills, provide challenging scenarios that will require outside the box thinking, develop encouragement, self-confidence and self-reliability, and preach the good news of Jesus Christ to anyone who would listen.